Welcome small businesses to Self-Fueling Excellence, now streaming on Roku and Amazon Fire. And this is our sub channel. You ready for it? Not today, hackers. Hands off my small business. I'm Mark L. Madrid, a proud creator of this sub channel. And I'm thrilled that Sam Khan from AccuSites, the CEO and founder, who's pretty credible in this darn space, this is really his channel, his sub channel, talking about how we can secure our small businesses. When I led cybersecurity for small businesses at the Small Business Administration, you know, I traveled 37 states in 40 months. At any time that I brought out cybersecurity, there was some rapid heartbeat. There was this fear, there was this reaction, both verbal and nonverbal. And now I'm having those reactions as a small business owner myself, and that's why I'm partnering with you. I'm so proud of what we're doing today. And this is about one tip, not 50, not 100, not 20, not 38 slides. It's about one tip. The one tip today that we're talking about, Sam, you've supported Fortune 50 and 100 companies. Now you're building this amazing suite for small businesses uh, across the world and really starting here in the United States. We're going to talk about company devices. Yep. All right. So we're talking, I know, I know I'm tapping right here, right? We're talking about laptops. We're talking about cell phones. Please tell us how this can impact the cybersecurity of our small businesses. So uh, as we all know, work nowadays happens on an electronic device. Majority, if not all your employees would have uh, at a minimum a workstation a laptop or a phone that they're working off of. So these are the devices that connect to the most sensitive information you have. These are the devices that are used to process the most sensitive workflows you have making payroll, right? But How it's connected important to, is that? And it's connected to everything, right? It's not Absolutely. only connected to our business that we've dreamed about, that we put everything into, but it's connected to our families and everything else. Absolutely. And what, what has happened is there's a growing trend with these what we call endpoints um, that are vulnerable, that have been breached. Uh, and I believe the average time a hacker stays within your company network is over 90 days. So when someone is able to use malware, a virus, a Trojan to get into your employees, laptop, workstation, they have access to do reconnaissance. They have access, they have months sometimes, uh, to be able to know and understand, hey, who does the payroll? Who's writing the checks? Where is this being routed to? So that's just one example of what they can, uh, what they can do with this information. So uh, endpoint security is crucial because these are the endpoints that connect to your most sensitive data, your most sensitive processes. So if that is compromised, there's a high likelihood that uh, you know, it could result in uh, really a major financial loss or also a major reputational loss. If mm. you're a healthcare company, you've lost your patient's right. records. Um, so financial, reputational, regulatory risk, all of that exists. But uh, getting back to this, we need to ensure that all of the endpoints, we cannot have one weak link, all of the endpoints within your company network are clean, are healthy. Also, you need to make sure that they're checking in periodically to get the signature updates that are needed to identify the new malware. So, because, you know, while we're sitting here, the hackers you know, they could be in the US, they could be in North Korea, they could be in Russia, they're creating new variants of these malware. So your employee endpoints need to be aware of what to stop. And that's something that you do for your small business clients at AccuSites. I mean, that's what we're working on together, correct? Absolutely. We, what we wanted to do, Mark, uh, small businesses, small business owners, I've worked with many, they have enough things to worry about. That's right. We want to be their partners in security. We want to provide that enterprise level security at a fraction of the fraction of the cost. So AccuSites, not only does it come with uh, training for your employees, it also comes with an endpoint, which is installed on every single computer for your company. And what good is it, Mark, if, uh, you know, if you have an endpoint on your computer, but there is no one responding to an alert, to an incident, to an issue. 
So what we've built here is the entire ecosystem. So not only do we manage, uh, manage your endpoints and manage security on them by scanning for virus malware continuously, we have a human and AI powered call center, uh, support center, which is called a SOC, Security Operations Center, which is constantly monitoring the health of your network. No, no, I love when you talk all this jargon, but at the bottom line, you have a monitoring service. We have 24-7, 365 monitoring service because, Mark, when you go to Costa Rica next, I want you to be able to enjoy the beach and get a good night's sleep. <laughs> you deserve it. You worked hard enough. You cannot be worried about which one of my employees will click on that one email from the African prince or something along the lines of <laughs> that's that. So true. So I did that's get that email the other day. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're here for, to help with your anxiety, to help with... Uh, uh, you know, your cybersecurity needs at a very enterprise level. That's real talk. I mean, because that's what we're talking about before in another day. It, it used to be like, is my physical space secure? But now that's what I worry about. I mean, it's so true that when I take off for a vacation or a staycation, I'm always thinking about cybersecurity. Uh, am I being compromised? And my employees, the team, Let's just be real for a moment. You know, we love our teams and they care about our business. That is if you uh, have the correct um, company culture, if you're building incentives, um, if they feel valued. However, no one's going to feel like the owner of the company, right? Yeah. And for us to ensure that everybody's protected, I mean, let's talk about cell phones. Let's talk about people having laptops and maybe unintentionally they go to another website. Who knows what's going on on the cell phone? Do you all help with that also? Yeah, abs absolutely. So in terms of filtering, uh, we actually recommend and help provide controls so your employees, they don't have a reason to go to a gambling site from a computer you provided for them to go to work because they don't, they should not be going to download movies from their work computer. Right, because uh, also because that is where a lot of the Trojans, that is where a lot of the worms, viruses, malware could also live. Right, you know, there's your email, and then there's where they're going. So we do monitor uh, again with the endpoints. Uh, there's a list that we can block certain categories of websites which are highly prone to these uh, uh, these malicious items. So what happens if if if? So that's great because I'm thinking about a situation right now. What if an employee uh, goes to one of these sites? What happens on, on your end? You get notified? We, uh, we actually, uh, during the onboarding, Mark, we work with the business. We try to understand how do you do business? What is the process? What is the workflow? What do well, that's they, novel, what do... like ask, asking the business, like actually talking to them, trying to understand them exactly. and going from there. What do they do? What do they need? So based on that, we could, uh, there's multiple things we could do. Uh, actually, remotely, we could quarantine. Let's say your employee, Diego, his endpoint, his laptop has been compromised. Maybe went to a site, maybe clicked on a link. Immediately, we will be notified. 24-7, 365, and we would quarantine his device from accessing what's important to, to you until we investigate, until we clean up, until we do all of, those, all of those things. We do this on your behalf. So again, you could sleep peacefully. And also, I, I don't like when I have competing protection things going on myself. I don't know which one's valid. I don't know if I should go to that update, but then I pay for something else already. Don't I have this other thing? And then there's like three things at one time. Can you, this, yeah. would this alleviate? some of these concerns that I'm talking about? That is, That's a fantastic point, Mark. What has happened in terms of the small, medium-sized space when we, when we looked at what is available you know, to help my wife's small business, to help your small business? And what we found is exactly what we were talking about. When we talked to hundreds of small, medium-sized businesses, where does their anxiety stem from? One of the things is, is they don't know what they need. It's a very fragmented world where they need something else for uh, anti-malware. They need something else for phishing training. They need right. something else to do the monitoring. They need something else. So it's a long stack of tools and techniques that small businesses would need to employ in today's world. So to counter that, what we have done, again, we want to bring security 
and simplify your life as a small business owner. So we have incorporated end, endpoint uh, scanning, monitoring, response, as well as training your employees, phishing training, awareness, all in a singular platform. So you don't have to pay for two competing platforms providing you the same functionality or not, right? Because uh, the second piece that is missing in, in, in this market today, it's a key piece, Mark. It's in addition to this fragmented nature of the number of tools, now you're asking a small business to hire a cybersecurity professional that knows how to implement these tools, knows how to tune these tools to remove false positive, to remove the noise, because if not, you get 10,000 alerts. If, <laughs> if there's so much noise, you wouldn't know how to respond to the actual alert that is the highest risk. So we have created a singular platform that provides all of this, eliminates the need for you to own, uh, for you to have IT staff and information security staff round the clock that's running this. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack there and it started with protecting your devices, whether it's a laptop, the computer systems, the cell phones, already I feel relieved. <laughs> I'm glad I'm, uh, my business is with you and that we're doing this together. What would be your parting word here? Um, let's see. I imagine that there's a lot of you out there thinking, well, this is very helpful, but what do I do next? Can you provide one small step that can make them feel more comfortable in the space that we're talking about in terms of this one tip? Absolutely. Uh make sure you have the right reporting in place for your uh, executive management team, for the owner of your business. Again, tuning and optimizing uh, really enhances effectiveness. And if you don't have an effective tool, you have nothing in place because these hackers have all the time in the world to try to breach your system. So put the right reporting in place where as a business owner, you're able to see you have 100 employees, all 100 employees have the antivirus. All 100 employees have the antivirus at a level that's able to protect you versus paying for something that you have, you are not entirely certain if it's running right, if people are watching it. So uh, th that is a tip. You're making an investment, make sure there is reporting that maps to it that gives you the right insights to take the steps that are needed to keep yourself safe. And that's why AccuSites and SAM are excellent. Thanks for tuning in to Self Fueling Excellence in this particular sub-channel. Not today, hacker. Hands off my small business and come back and see us for our next tip.